you're watching it but days a week and um, I'm gonna be playing a game that wasn't released on the PlayStation Classic I mean on the PlayStation in fact I don't think this had any cons home console port at all and this is Spider-Man the arcade game this is actually a four-player beat-em-up um, similar to, you know, Final Fight, X-Men, Simpsons, Ninja Turtles, games like those. This does have some unique features. That is, uh, it kind of zooms in and zooms out. And when it's uh, zoomed in, uh, of course, it plays like your standard uh, beat em up here. When it's zoomed out, uh, you'll see later. So. The sprite art, I guess, isn't really that good looking. I mean, Spider-Man looks like a costumed caveman, I guess. And the enemies are like rip-offs from uh, Kamen Rider. And yeah, as I mentioned, this didn't have any arcade, po I mean con home console port, so I doubt there's a lot that actually were able to play this game, especially nowadays. And it's a shame because it is kind of fun. So I definitely recommend you load this on your thumb drive and play it on your PlayStation Classic. It runs great. I also tried this on like the Super Nintendo Classic. And that one is kind of slow. And here we're actually zoomed out now. So you see it kind of changes the whole gameplay. It's... Um, like a platform side scroller instead of the beat em up brawler and I'm throwing short range projectiles now Ugh. so this has at least some unique ax aspects to the beat em up genre On the Super Nintendo Classic, this actually runs a bit slow. So, it's. Uh, it, it actually runs okay, but uh, it's playable, I mean. But, uh, you know, if you have a choice, go ahead and load it, load it in your PlayStation Classic instead. Zooming in again, and now we're back to the standard beat em up type of game. Uh, 
I imagine this game must be tons of fun if you're actually four players playing at the same time. But um, yeah, I just I've I've never seen this, and uh, like an arcade cabinet of this, I've never seen it. Probably rare, or maybe I'm just not lucky. I know my friends were able to play this game, so it's just probably rare. Unlike, say, X-Men or Simpsons, they were kind of everywhere back then. So as with most most uh, arcade games that are emulated, having unlimited coins kind of removes the difficulty of the game. So if you have time, you should be able to finish this game in one sitting. So he refers to himself in third person, I guess. All right. Anyway, I think that should be it for this video. You have a pretty good idea how the game plays and how it performs on the PlayStation Classic. And this is Spider-Man Arcade from Sega. And, uh... Yeah, it should be worth it to have it included on your thumb drive. And even though it, this did not have a PS1 port, it wouldn't feel out of place. You're watching 8-Bit Days a week. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for, thanks for watching.